These are my good friends, Dominic and Dana. And together, we're gonna ride bikes around Western Cuba. day one of the Cuban bicycle adventure and it is going to be an adventure. Cien por ciento. High five for the action cam. Five miles outside of Havana now, we made it through the crazy city, riding along the Malecon with the waves crashing, boom, boom, boom. Oh man, I was like, I didn't think I was gonna get wet today in that fashion. I thought the rain might do it, but uh, no, we were soaking wet, and we uh, taste like we jumped in the ocean because we're all salty. And now we're looking at the map, the maps that were made 15 years ago. <laughs> if, we, if we find ourselves in a place we can't very well see the sea, definitely made a mistake. are out of the city and it feels so good and they're drinking water. Hey guys, how are we feeling team? Good. Great. Fine. Great. Open road. Yeah, the open road. This is the Cuba I remember. I didn't ride through Havana last time, so that was a little hectic. Mm. My uh, face and everything I touch is deliciously sea salty still from the waves. What do you say we guys uh, go that way? <laughs> I gotta say, this is by far the least amount of gear I've ever brought on a bike tour. And it's really, really freeing. My bike, I feel like I've forgotten a lot of stuff because it's so light. But I don't have anything. This right here is the Cuba I remember. Open roads, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Hi guys. Hello Team Cuba. We are gonna ride along the coast today. We're not sure exactly how far, but I promised Dana that this would be a pretty leisurely bike tour, so a max of 50 miles a day. The tricky part about uh, this bike ride is we have to end in towns that have houses that rent rooms, because we have zero camping gear. So we have to stop at a place where we can rent a room. Dominic, what's on the menu? Well, I mean, what do you like? There are some smoothies, there's uh, cheese and ham sandwiches, and basically a variations on that theme. Chocola. So good, with like little ice chunks in it. It's so cold and so cola y. We are in a small town right now called Mariel, and we're getting a little snack because that's what you do on a bike tour. You get to earn your snacks. So we're gonna get some bread for the vegetarians, bread and cheese and tomato. He's gonna get jamón y queso, and I got a smoothie, baby, a smoothie. Mmm. It's a good roadside snack. I love it. I love it so far, Ryan. Thank you for bringing me to Cuba to ride my bicycle. How you doing, Dana? Venga, venga, venga. Venga, venga, venga. And 
Just like that, the roads are chill once again. No more cars. All I can hear is the wind flowing through the sugar cane. That's the song of Cuba right there. are now in the little town of Cabañas, so we're just gonna wander around and ask if anybody will rent their room to us. Because we're pretty friendly, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, we are. And look at this church behind me. Look at that cool church. I talked to the first woman I saw on the street, always asked the mamas, and she said, follow me. And so now uh, we're following her to some sort of a house. I love how in Cuba, everybody just helps out. Like, one person sees you asking for help, then more people gather, and then pretty soon, Half the community is in on the mission to help you find a room. <laughs> I love it. Bueno, muchas gracias, muy amable. Gracias. I thought those sweet old ladies were gonna take us to somebody's house, but this is like a full-on hotel resort. There's even a, a pool. It doesn't have any water, but there's still a pool. And our room is our room is nice. Check this out. Look at this. We got the beds going on. We're all gonna sleep together. It comes with a brush. This room. We got some nice old flowers. It's in there. Oh. Is that sparkling water? No, that's beer. That's oh. beer, Dana. Darn it. You, you touch those, you pay Darn for them. It. This is really cool. We've been here five minutes. We got into our room, and then the guy's like, it's time yeah, for food. We're like, what do you mean it's time for food? He's like, I have food for you. And he gave us this amazing meal. So here we go. This is a great way to. Uh, and an awesome day. What do you say, guys? Yeah. It's not the end of the day yet. We have to explore no. the town first. Yeah, now we're hey, we gotta explore the town. the town. This is just a snack. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a snack. Afternoon snack time. Not only do we have really yummy food, but they have an old Western movie on an old, old TV. I can't drink it all at once. Hola! Hola, amigo! ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo estás? Todo bien! Todo bien! Todo happy! ¿Dónde estamos? En Cuba! En Cuba! En Cabañas! Cabañas! ¡Qué bueno! ¡Nos vemos! I'm making friends all over the place. Okay. I'm trying to take video of what's going on here with this kid. This wants to be in my camera. You're so cute. What's up, buddy? ¿Cómo te llamas? ¿Cómo te llamas, amigo? Tata Titi. Ah, okay. Mucho gusto. Yo me llamo Brian. It's like kind of extreme sports, multi-activity afternoon. We've got Death Trap Go Kart behind me, which uh, oh, and we got one of the main competitors here. Just uh, on this subs bench, just taking a break, taking some water, some camera action. Death Trap go kart. You got girls basketball shooting behind me. This little party started with like a couple kids on the sled. Now like all of the kids are around here and it's really hard to use my camera because they keep grabbing at it and trying to see in it, which is great. This is what it's all about. I'm not here to get amazing shots. I'm here to hang out with my homies. Como estamos? Eso! Eso! los músculos más grandes. Bye bye! Bye. These moments right here remind me so much of when I lived in Honduras for two years as a Peace Corps volunteer. Every single day, I would round up all the kids from the neighborhood and we would just goof around and we would play with simple toys just like they're doing. They have these little scooter cart things with rusty wheels and they push each other around and have the best time ever and brings back a lot of memories of the simple life back in Honduras. What a great little town. <laughs> 